Welcome to the Africa Stocking video series. My name is Graham. In the last video, we concluded sending empty messages, so we can just uh, go ahead and close those. So in this in this tutorial, we are going to uh, set up a USSD callback URL, and then we are going to use our service uh, to to serve menus. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your USSD dashboard and check your service codes. I have two service codes which the user must dial to access my menu uh, in this case I, I could just you can anybody you dial in these two will be able to access the same menu because I have one callback URL unless of course I use a different uh, logic to serve the different menus so I'll just go ahead and copy this uh, code so we can paste this in our virtual machine I'll go ahead and save that as USSD. Okay, can close this. This good. So you can see my menu is almost there. Uh, when you dial, you receive your post parameters then we serve you the first menu you choose one or two we serve if you want we, we serve you this menu if two we serve you this menu then you choose again uh, if you choose if you choose on the second level if you choose one or two we will serve you this menu or this menu and you will see we are ending our response which means this is the last the last thing that's on that on that interaction so as usual we have to generate a callback URL so let me run this so that I can get the callback URL I can also just click on this you can see my menu the first menu when there is no text being sent in by the user I can copy that URL go to my callbacks paste it right there and you know that's it so when I when I I run I run my code star 384880 hash I should get these interactions and we shall see them on my sessions so right now my sessions don't have anything let's dial and see a session so this is uh, the menu that we should be expecting I've just dialed that uh, star 384 star 880 hash. If I come back to my sessions, remember they were empty. You can see I've had two sections. One was a failed, and I can tell why it failed just by looking. Uh, so I, I didn't respond, I cancelled but in the, and you can see the number you can see i dialed 384 and, and that and you can see my callback url uh, in the other one of course it's the same so i just go back to my sessions you should see success and you should see all the hops just the entire history where i went i went to one i chose one I was asked for my account number I chose one for the account number and I got this so thank you very much see you in the next video